39% of men living alone experience loneliness. And one in three men believe that there's no one out there to help them in times of need. And in the world of Andrew Tate's and the Red Pill, you need to find a balance that helps men in a healthy way. I want to share three ways that you can transform your confidence as a young man. And when I say young, I'm talking about anybody that's under 30. I won't waste much of your time here, but if you can, smash that like button and let's get it cracking. So the very first step is self-care. Come on, fellas. I'm sick and tired of men always dissing women and stuff like that, but they're not even looking after themselves. Get your nails trimmed, get a little haircut, or if your hair's long, make sure it's clean. Trim up your beard. And if you ain't got a beard, look after your facial hair. Make sure your toenails are trimmed. Make sure you're actually showering and using deodorant. These are just small, simple things that a lot of men actually don't do. I talk to a lot of women and they talk to me about some of the men that they see and their hygiene. And that is a very, very big issue. Self-care should be very, very important for men, just as it is for women. No one wants to walk around with a smelly dude. It's important that you look after yourself. But it doesn't just end there. We can talk about all the aesthetic stuff, but self-care also moves into some of the mental and social side of things as well. As a man, you should make sure you're getting at least seven to nine hours of sleep and resting, looking after your body. You should also make sure that you're doing things to de-stress. One of my favorite things to do is a float tank. I try to do one every three to six months. It's a great way for me to kind of detach an hour in the darkness floating on water. It's one of those sensory things that really does transform how you feel for the next 24 hours. And although some of you might be thinking, uh, self-care, it's the most easy and simplest thing to do. So just do it. It's definitely going to transform how confident you feel on a day-to-day -day basis. Number two, bit of a cliche, but you need to be hitting the gym. I'm sorry, but in 2023, if you're a guy who doesn't even train and you're talking about lacking confidence, I mean, all the research out there shows that men who go to the gym feel a lot more confident about themselves, even from a body image aspect, mentally, physically, it's going to transform your body and also your behaviors. And nine times out of 10, the reason that some people are not confident is because they don't practice being confident, but consistent practice actually makes you confident. So if you're consistently hitting the gym, you're staying true to your behaviors and the promises that you keep to yourself, then the confidence will rise. It will come. It will come over time. You have to do those things. So hitting a gym at least three to five days a week is going to make a huge difference. And even if you're not hitting the gym, working out from home, going for a run, do something athletically challenging because it's going to challenge you to level up your game, be more competitive with yourself. And you shouldn't be competing with other men. You need to compete with yourself to get better every single day. And that's what's going to make a difference because when you do that, guess what? Your confidence will rise. And you've got to remember something. Our lives are a lot easier than our ancestors were thousands of years ago. We're not having to hunt for food. We're not living in tribes where we could get taken over at any minute. We've become very, very soft and that's fine. That's okay. I think our lifestyles are a lot better now than they were thousands of years ago, right? But because life has become so easy for us, there are a lot of negative effects. Hence why over 60% of men are either overweight or obese in the UK and the US. And the testosterone levels are dropping every single year. A lot of male focused content talks about trying to be a 1%er. But don't worry about that. Focus on being 1% better than average because that's all you need to do to be above average. Every day, get 1% better than average. And that's good. And on top of hitting the gym, you need to make sure you're eating right. Make sure you're getting at least one gram of protein per pound of body weight. I'll give you an example. If I weigh 200 pounds, I should be having 200 grams of protein every single day. You do that, I promise promise you, you'll stop eating junk food, you'll look better, you'll feel better, and you'll be fueling your body after you're hitting those crazy workouts. And you won't even have time to be drinking alcohol and doing crazy things with your friends anymore because you'll be locked in and focused on building your body, which will then transform your confidence too. When you look good, you feel good. When you feel good, you perform better in every aspect of your life. Trust me, I know it, it's a fact. Point number three, start putting yourself out there. This is going to be the hardest part, but if you do point one and point two, you're going to feel more confident. So then point three becomes easier. You need to start putting yourself out there putting yourself in uncomfortable situations to then help you transform your confidence. I want you to think of it like this. I know we've all had that friend in our friendship circle who seems to get all the girls, everyone loves him, most popular guy. That's the guy you need to hang out with. Find out what, what is it about them that makes them so magnetic? What are they doing? How are they treating themselves? Some of these guys have some of the best habits. They're not always the happiest, but they do have things about them that make them a magnetic personality. And it seems like the confidence just radiates off them. There's nothing wrong with wanting to be around guys like that. Fill your circle up with guys that are high achieving and put yourself out there. And you you will be more successful in your pursuit of transforming your confidence because confidence is magnetic and it will transmit in your friendship circles. And this is even more important when it comes to dating because we know the dating stats are not great. Women only swipe yes to one in 20 men on dating apps and 50% of women's likes on dating apps only goes to 15% of men. If you're not looking after your body, if you're not looking after your aesthetics, then guess what? Your confidence is of course going to take
take a hit because you might be on dating apps and you ain't got a chance. And we know from the data again that most dating apps are full of men and not as much women. So if your confidence is low because of things like that, you need to get out there more. Don't be afraid of being rejected. Actually, you should actually look to get rejected. Like take it as a challenge because you're going to start to build up that resistance. And the more you do it, the more you put yourself out there, the rejections hurt less and less. I'm not afraid of being rejected. And it's because I've done it so many times that it's actually, it's actually okay. You need to start doing things like going out with your friends more, going to bars more, putting yourself in places where you have to meet people. And I promise you the difference will be stark. Step number four is actually to learn a martial art. This is a secret gem that not enough men know. It's going to totally transform your confidence. It's going to transform your body and your mindset, your discipline. Everything about it will change because you're going to be a walking weapon. And there's something different when you walk in a room and you know, hey, I can defend myself. I don't want to. I don't want to hurt anybody, but I can if I want to. And that is a powerful feeling. So my advice is to learn a martial arts, kickboxing, boxing, Muay Thai, Jiu Jitsu, wrestling, do something, but do something that's actually of use. Don't do like Krav Maga or something. <laughs> if you just do those few things, your confidence is absolutely going to to change, it's going to skyrocket. And there's nothing more powerful than a confident man. If you don't know what to do and you don't know where to start in regards to the gym side of things, all you need to do is check this workout right here and steal it. It's all yours. Peace.